Hey everyone, my name's Mary. I'm with the Other Magdalene. Um, I am the founder and owner of the website. This is my very first video and I promise I'm not going to bore you with a typical YouTube introduction of my morning routine or any of those cliche videos that you find everywhere now. Um, that's become more of a fad, I think, but it'll eventually go away. Excuse me. So this, my first video, I want to talk about how um, I'm doing a video on this one instead of writing. If this doesn't work out and you would rather read it because it's more personable that way or you like my videos, that's fine too. But um, I'm going to try it and see how it goes. Even if it fails, I'm going to go back to writing. So here we go. Um, first off, I want to talk about the subject of this blog or vlog is what people call it now. I guess I'm a little bit old school. I haven't caught up with the times just yet. <laughs> um, this is about free will um, is more than just heaven and hell. And I want to talk about that because I have noticed a lot of unhappiness lately. And not just with me, um, with family members, coworkers, just friends that I have kind of observed. Um, kind of being the single one out of the group, you can kind of notice a lot of things that happen in relationships and in other people's lives too. So free will, first I want to define it. Um, free will is about having the freedom of doing your own choices. And that doesn't necessarily mean, oh, I'm going to go to heaven or hell because it's my choice. Free will can be a wide variety of things. And God gives us that because he loves us for one. And two, the whole subject of sending his only son to earth to die for us is the whole point of having free will. He gave us that option. He did not say, you're going to hell, you're going to heaven. I want you to have the choice because you have one life to live and I'm going to give you that ability to live it freely the way you want to. Now, that doesn't give us free will to get away from unhappiness. So that also leads to things that we need to discuss, which I'm going to touch base later on. So first off, unhappiness. I've experienced a lot lately, personally. And granted, I set myself up for unhappiness. We all do. And I think a lot of unhappiness stems from the fact that we have expectations of what happiness should be and what our lives should look like spanning out over time. Um, an example is um, I have someone I know. Of course, you know that I'm never going to point out anyone um, in my blogs at whatever point, because this is privacy, um, that they went for the idyllic life. They got married. Um, they go to church every Sunday. They have great kids. They have a great family. They have the everything that you could want out of relationship, everything that you could want out of a family, out of everything that you could possibly imagine. If you were on a Pinterest board and you saw that family, you'd be like, oh my gosh, I've got it together. But behind the scenes, they come out and say, my significant other is just not understanding me. My significant other just doesn't understand where I'm coming from. I'm just not happy. Again, it's expectation of how another person reacts to what our happiness is. We're giving the power to someone else to make ourselves happy. Personally, I also say that too. Um, the last few years I have gone through a very, very dark time. And with all honesty, like I said, my blog is truly honesty and that's it. Um, there were some nights that I did not think it would ever um, get better. But Again, I set myself up for that idyllic life and that idyllic scene of what my life should be and what happiness should be. And I'd always blame God about it. I would be like, well, you gave me the free will to choose my life, but are you giving me the free will to have what I want? Is that in your plan that everyone talks about? Oh, it's in God's plan that this happens. This is going to make you a better person. Um, you set up yourself for your own expectation and expectation of happiness. So earlier I stated about 
my own unhappiness and how I set myself up for expectation and I kind of set myself up for failure, in other words. Um, I had this plan of, well, I had my master's degree and by 24 and I wanted to get a great career going and I have, um, I've got that started. And I thought in my head that I would eventually probably be married by 27. Well, I'm about to be 26. That's probably not going to happen. Um, I have a idealistic vision in my head because it's what I've been taught my entire life that that's what happiness is, is that you get your degree, college degree, um, you get married, and then you have a family of your own. Um, and that is what has been instilled in my head. Um, and you see it all over social media to the point that, what am I doing wrong? What, why can't I have that? Or um, if you're already in a relationship or married and have, fam have a family, you're looking at people like me that are single and that can go travel and do other things that you can't do necessarily with a family. You can, but I mean, it's hard. Um, and then you say, why can't I have that freedom of that? Why can't my significant other do things like that with me? Why can't, why can't, why can't, why can't? Do you get where I'm going with this? So again, expectation. We set it up in our heads of how it was supposed to be, but in reality, it's not that way. Um, and that leads to unhappiness, at least to frustration. It leads to you questioning your faith. Um, a lot of times, like I said earlier in the video, that I had a hard time grasping the two. What is God's plan or what is my plan? And a lot of Christians will say, well, they don't go together. However, I'm going to disagree because I do have the free will to decide where my life is going to go um, and where I feel most happy. That is my choice. Um, I have had an earlier blog um, about how God is always with you. Um, it's not necessarily he's going to be with you at the end of it and show you this golden surprise at the end of your suffering. He's there beside you the entire time when you make a wrong decision and you become unhappy. Um, and I think we need to start thinking on those terms a lot more instead of dangling these prized possessions at the end saying, if you get here in your life, you're going to be happy. Or if you get here in this milestone, it's going to bring you happiness. That doesn't work. Um, again, it's going to make you question your faith. Like, why wasn't God there when I reached that milestone? Why wasn't God there when um, I finally got married? Why wasn't God there when one of my kids was born? Why wasn't I happy? We're meeting other expectation, others' expectations of what happiness is. And really, it just comes from what you enjoy. And I say that because a lot of my family members, a lot of my friends, um, just a lot of people I know I've heard here recently say that they're just so unhappy and they just don't know why. It's because they, they're, they're doing things of what others think would be happiness. And personally, I'm just going to get real honest with you. That irritates <laughs> the shit out of me because here recently I've got off social media. Um, and I did that because I was living up to others' timelines, their vision of what milestones are in life, what my life should have been like at 25 compared to people I've graduated with, people I've grown up with. And it's really gotten to the point where I don't care. I don't care what my life looks like compared to others. I want it to be for me. I want it to be what I want. Um, granted, there's still some things that I'm questioning that I've done. I, did I do it out of my own happiness or did I do it out of others' expectations of what it should have been? Um, I'm starting to develop my own interest. As you can see in the background, I've started back art. I used to love art so much. I used to do theater a lot and I stopped because I was trying to get to those milestones as fast as I could. That way I could be happy. Um, but here recently I found happiness in the most quietest moments you could think. I found it in knowing that the relief of not having 
that visual of how my life should go instead of enjoying the present and saying that I don't have to live up to those standards. I don't have to live up to what my church people think of me. I don't have to live up to that standard of fulfilling what my spouse's needs are and then just leave mine behind. I don't have to leave my needs behind because my kids are constantly telling me, granted, I don't have kids, but you need to get where I'm going with this. I know that it's hard to be a mom for those moms out there. Your kids come first. I absolutely agree. But when it comes to the point that you're going insane, there is something missing. You need to take a step back and just think about what have you stop doing? What have you visualized in your own head of what a mom should be or what a wife should be, what a friend should be? And be yourself. Quit looking at what other people think of you and think of what God thinks of you. Think about think about where you want to go and what expectation you hold for yourself. Don't think about what social media puts out there. These pa This past month and a half have really set some things in motion for me, um, mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, again, free will. We have the free will to choose. Choose others' expectations of how happiness should go for me or choose the free will of, hey, God gave me an option of choosing my own life and choosing how I want to live it and choosing not to see it through others' eyes, see it through my own eyes. And I really wish all of us could see that and think more of that. And I, I hope that you got some more out of this blog or vlog um, than me writing it down for you to read. But um, I hope that you know that you're not in this alone, that all of us do this. I do this every day of trying to please others' idealistic forms of happiness. Um, it's just instilled in us as human beings that we think that way, but it doesn't have to be that way. So um, just think of how, if you're miserable right now and you just don't, you're questioning what happiness even is, you need to. So um, before I end this vlog officially, I hope you did get something out of it. Um, if you can, if you do like my vlogs, please let me know. Uh, you can subscribe now to my website, which I'm very excited about. You can subscribe for updates when I release a blog. And I promise you, I'm not getting any incentive out of these videos, blogs. They're all on mine, um, on my budget. So um, I'm not getting paid anything. I'm doing this freely out of, I, I think it's passion more so because I hold in a lot of my thoughts. <laughs> I need to get them out somewhere. But um I hope you do subscribe and I'm not going to send an email every day or once a week. It only releases when I post a new post on my website. That's the only time. And I'm going to keep it that way because to be honest, I'm one of those that go on Pinterest and click somebody's blog and then all of these ads come up because um, they get paid out of it. Um, so hopefully that will not happen anytime soon because I want you to have the freedom of going through my blogs without that disturbance. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed again, and if you did not like this version of it, please let me know and I'll go back to writing. So, thanks guys.